tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts. Hear the real life stories. Hear a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. On a view from the outside this week, this week being the 6th of April, 2019, we look at awareness. A W A R E. N-E-S-S, awareness, with the view being that it is imperative for Vincentians to take the time out to raise their awareness about the things which are happening in the country. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines awareness as the quality or state of being aware, which is knowledge and understanding that something is happening or exists. And the Longman Dictionary states that awareness is the ability to notice something using your senses. Those definitions tell us that when you have awareness, you have knowledge of what is happening or existing. When you have awareness, you have an understanding of what is happening or, is, or existing. When you have awareness, you have the ability to notice things. We have been triggered to cover this topic, awareness, by the recent recognition of World Autism Awareness Day. You may be aware that Tuesday, the 2nd of April, 2019, was, was World Autism Awareness Day. That day, the 2nd of April, 2019, was designated to raise awareness of what autism is and how people who have autism are affected by it. In designating that day as World Autism Awareness Day, the intention was and remains to ensure that people worldwide gained, gain more knowledge and understanding of what autism is. On their website, www.autism.org.uk, the National Autistic Society in the UK, of the UK tells us that autism is a life that affects how people perceive the world and interact with others. And it goes on to say, Autism, autistic people see, hear, and feel the world differently to other people. If you are autistic, you are autistic for life. Autism is not an illness or disease and cannot be cured. Often, people feel being autistic is a fundamental aspect of their identity, unquote. We on a view from the outside, encourage you to do more to raise your own awareness of what autism is. In much the same way, and in a similar vein, we encourage all Vincentian to be aware and to raise your awareness of what is happening around you. We encourage you to look beyond the perceived glitz and glamour of what is presented to you, primarily with the intention to bamboozle and hoodwink you. And we ask you to gain more awareness of your surroundings. Surely, if you have knowledge and understanding of the things which occur in your community, the things which occur in your village, the things which occur in your own town, the things which occur in your country, the things which occur in the region, and the things which occur around the world, things which occur in the international sphere, there is no doubt that you will be better placed to make sound decisions, which would be of benefit to yourself, your village, your town, 
and your country. We, and if you're from the outside, also encourage you to use your senses to enhance your ability to notice the things which are happening around you. Have an awareness of things like the conclusion in the High Court of the election petitions. The petitions which were brought soon after the elections of the 9th of December 2015 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. An awareness will show that these proceedings, which are to determine the very legitimacy of government, have taken in excess of three years to reach the stage that they have reached. An awareness will show that far from having these court proceedings being conducted expeditiously, as ordered by the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court of Appeal, and as happened in the case of Kenya, these proceedings have been delayed unduly, and they have been long and painstakingly drawn out. Many believe deliberately so. An awareness will show that the respondents, who, by the judgment, have been deemed victorious, are now frantically, and many claimed desperately, writing a plethora of letters and making overtures to get the judge out of retirement, to amend his judgment, seemingly to plug gaping and glaring holes in the judgment in order to soften the blow on the inevitable appeals by the petitioners. Have an awareness that whilst the ruling regime paraded around Kingstown, the capital, in celebration to mark 18 years in government, the cries and discontentment and hardship are growing louder and louder around the country. Have an awareness that agriculture, which was once the main earner for many Vincentians, is at its lowest ebb in the history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. An awareness will show that whilst agriculture languishes, the ability to maintain and provide security, uh, food security, to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines continues to diminish. Have an awareness that health care in the country continues to be of immense concern to everyone. An awareness will show that basic medicine and basic supplies are perennially in short supply throughout the country, including the lone general hospital in Kingstown, the capital. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations, school buildings and other public buildings are in dilapidation and disrepair. An awareness will show that some of the school buildings and other buildings in and around Kingstown, the capital, after many years in disrepair and dilapidation, received a facelift recently, just prior to the ro royal visit of Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, seemingly to give the impression that all is well. This has prompted many to say that while on one hand the rulers of the regime say that they are anti-colonialist and anti-monarchist, on the other hand, they jumped at the opportunity to attend a royal wedding and they, and they bend over backwards to put up a facade seemingly to meet the approval of the monarch and colonial masters. Just to say or pretend that all is well in the country, when that is definitely not the case. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations in the country, of all the celebrations in a country which we are told is the epitome of modern civilization, there was a national blackout of similar proportions to what occurred in Venezuela, where electricity was blacked out throughout the country for a period. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations, the government is busy 
rather remarkably, engaging the constitution of the country against the citizens of the country. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations, there is a continued erosion of the rule of law in the country. An awareness will show that there are court cases brought against citizens simply, seemingly, to simply frustrate and humiliate them, especially when these cases are later dropped. These cases include Joseph Bowen, Luzette King, Paul Imad Scrub, Yogi Farrell, and more. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations, the government continues to ignore court orders and fail or refuse to compen compensate citizens as ordered by the court. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations, the government continues to acquire the lands of citizens and fail or refuse to compensate them for their land. An awareness will show that Bigger Biggs has been continuously hungered and harassed on his own land and prevented from having peace and security and the quiet enjoyment of his property. Many say that Bigger Biggs has been lynched. And many say also that he, those closely to the regime, even those closely to the regime, also say that he has been economically assassinated. Have an awareness that in the midst of all the celebrations, there is a, co a continued refusal by the government to obey the constitution of the country, the highest law of the land, to provide accountability to you, the people of the land. An awareness will show that there is a lack of proper accountability of Petro-Carib money. An awareness will show that there's a lack of accountability for the construction of the Argyle International Airport. Vincentians, you will no doubt agree that there is much more for all of us to have an awareness of. And it is because of that why we, on a view from the outside, urge everyone to raise our level of awareness. Raise that awareness and equip ourselves. You equip yourself with information and be on guard to make sound decisions for the benefit of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let your quest and thirst to raise your awareness be ongoing. Let it be an ongoing one, just like the ongoing awareness in relation to autism. And so, we, on a view from the outside, encourage each and every one of you to get busy and become aware. Raise that awareness to protect your future, your children's future, and the future of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We say that raising your awareness on the most pressing issues of our time is more important now than ever. And we encourage you that in raising your awareness to pay heed to the words of historian Michael Kitson, who said, awareness is a key ingredient in success. If you have it, teach it. If you lack it, seek it. Let us all, as one people, we say, let us all, as one people, as one nation, engage in raising our general level of awareness. Until next week, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. That's a view from the outside at hotmail.com. We also invite you to visit and like our Facebook page at A View From The Outside, and also visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at JMB Horn. And you can also catch up on this program 
on Vibes Caribbean. Brandy, you and all of the listeners, have a pleasant Saturday, have a wonderful Sunday, and have a productive week ahead with raising our awareness, raising your awareness, being at the forefront of our contemplation. All the best to you, Randy, and the listeners.